Hi folks, Derek here from Christmas Dreams, playing with servos. Now I'm using a new configuration. Usually I plug my servos directly into the Arduino Nano, which is this blue board here. And um, I hardwire the servo wires directly to the side of the pins over here and power supply it across with an independent power supply off my standard uh, 5 volt supply over here. But uh, this is what we call a shield because the Nano actually sits on top of these this row of pins over here and this allows us to take the output directly to these three pins and there would always be two power supplies in there and just one signal so this is the normal configuration that you use servos in and uh, although you might not see it in any servo controller this is the way it works now in a standard servo controller that we were using before even the signal pin was being shared by all three servos and so the three servos would always operate in exactly the same manner and at the same speed at the same time well, the development that we have here is that I have now written a program where each of these output pins up here has a different parameter. So if you sort of remember what that looks like, I'll just take one of the other pins and just plug it into, it doesn't matter which pin, just to show you that we've got a different amplitude over there. Okay, so you can see that it's moving completely different in speed, in terms of the rotational angles. And since each of the output pins has been given another number, we can just therefore basically select what we want by plug it, plugging it into the pin that has the correct parameters and here is the program which shows you the pin numbers and this data has to be read by the column not by the rows so here's pin number two number three number four number five etc all the way to pin 11 and then you've got over here the second line is the servo speed as you can see here, I've got 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, just to have uh, the differences. The third row of the column is the minimum position, and the fourth row is the maximum position. So therefore, if you were to look at this, this determines where that goes that way and where that goes that way. And since we are using this plugged into pin number three we can see that it has a speed of 10 a minimum of 25 and a maximum of 95 and that's for this one here whereas this one is plugged into pin number 11 so if we go to the last one pin 11 now you can see that the the, the servo number is 11 the speed is now 80 as opposed to 5 the minimum angle is 65 and the maximum is 180 so that servo is chugging along at a really good clip and it's swinging the full range of the servo as opposed to this bottom one over here which is going very slowly and not doing the whole sweep and we were to take the third one and just plug it in at random. Let's pick any one of the pins that we want over here. Um, did I have it in the, oh, sorry, I had the wrong way. So let's plug that in. 
and that's somewhere in the middle. Okay. So you can see that all of these three are working at different operational parameters. That's speed, minimum angle, maximum angle. And if we come back over here and look, we're drawing 0.22 at 5 volts. So that's well within the, the limit. Let me just turn this off so it doesn't interfere with us. And now we're back to being 5.36 volts and 0 amps, so drawing nothing. So you can see that, what does this mean? Well, what it means is that now you can buy a, an Arduino that is pre-programmed with the parameters and you can actually tell me beforehand what parameters you want for me to program your Arduino Nano so that you can plug your servo in to the right pin to get the performance that you want out of it. Now there's absolutely nothing to, to prevent me from writing three similar batches of pins. In other words, two, three, and four could all have the same parameters. Five, six, seven, a different set. Eight, nine, ten, different set. And they could either be in batches or they could be indep independent as I've written them over here. But now you've got great versatility in having something that's pre-programmed with a whole a range of action so you are not repeating the same having that dull Lemax limitation of everything operating at exactly the same speed at the same amplitude and everything looks exactly the same and just goes on forever and ever and this one gives you the versatility of determining your own uh, limits your own performances that you want and I will just use this program that has been loaded now as the default but when you buy this servo set from Christmas dreams you can actually tell me what kind of performance you want what kind of parameters and it'll just be coded in and sent to you so you will get exactly what you want rather than some store-bought uh, dead simple uh, sequence shared by all three servos the same. I hope you found that as exciting as I am about this new development. Uh, please feel free to comment and write in and I'll try to answer your questions as they arise. Derek. Over and out.